All right, guys, it is a drizzly Alaskan summer day here, and I've got my friends and family with us, and we're gonna do a little pike fishing trip. You guys excited? Heck yeah. 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 Partially because I love spear fishing and partially because there's not enough room in the canoes, I am going to swim around and spear fish, and uh, you guys are gonna try to catch a pike on rod and reel, and uh, I think you guys are probably gonna outfish me, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so we're going to be targeting pike, which are kind of a funny thing. Here in Alaska, pike are considered an invasive trash fish by a lot of sports fishermen. Most places in the world, they're a highly prized game fish, but they've been illegally introduced to a lot of the lakes around here, and that's adversely affecting the salmon and trout. And so it's pretty much no holds barred. You take as many as you want any way you can, and, uh, and that's what we're going to try to do. Hey, Josh. That, that loon is so peeved that we're over on his lake. He's like chasing us. <laughs> it's a lot of profanity coming out of that loon's beak. Let's get ourselves rigged up before we head out. Yeah. We got this, this bad guy. So this right here is a really good one and it's basically just a, a flasher. You use the spoon like a flasher, and then you got this weedless rig, so you can throw this right in the muck, okay? And it, it has a really hard time getting snagged up. But um, but this is kind of more of an open water thing. That's This is this is a surface one. This will work real good. Uh, grab some steel leaders. You, that's gonna be incredible watching them hit that. Now, what I would do is I would just slide out like 12, 15 feet and fish this, fish this cove. Graceful as the seal, all right there. They've barely gone out 20 feet and they already got fish. That's good, good sign. Oh, they got one already. Yeah, <laughs> that's not bad. It's time to go poke a fish. How's it going? I had bigger one. Thank you. So Tom, am I like the ugliest sea otter you've ever seen? How are you guys doing? One one. Guy. Check out that sucker. Oh, I lost it. Dang, nab it. We're going to go ahead and keep it. All right, you're good. <laughs> Just try to bark the spot and I'll go, I'll go dive for it. <laughs> so I caught something finally. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I'm gonna cast it for you and you reel it in. Oh, got one, Tom. Come here. Reel him in, reel him in. Oh, Tom, this is a nice one. Here, reel him in. Get, get, pull him all the way in. 
Get him, pull him up on the shore a little. Thing with it, you know those pin bones that are in a salmon, mm -hmm. right along the back. These got some something similar, but they call Y bones because they they start off like this and they branch off into a Y, and the Y is kind of like curved like this. If you cut into it, then it breaks into pieces, and you have all these bone chunks in it. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the the biggest reason people don't like to keep pike is because of that the bones. So so I just go and and fillet them, leave the bones in there, and then just bake it, fillet up, and then once it's baked, just go in there with a, a fork and, pull it and, you, and you can pull out all these chunks and then eat it like you would a lobster roll with chunks of meat. And, and so you can leave the skin on and everything, just take the ribs, every, everything in the, in the fillet, just down the side, super simple, and then deal with it post cooking. And then, I'm always curious what these guys are eating. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm snorkeling around there and I didn't see much of anything in there. Hey, that right there, yeah, that, that's a leech. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is, that's a, that's a leech. That's a leech, that's a leech. Yeah, so a lot of black leeches. Oh! <laughs> yeah, look at that, it's full of leeches too. Look at that. Oh, that yeah. one's got a clam. That one ate a clam. Just, oh, actually. Gonna make the mosquitoes hungry and the ladies thirsty here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know all those pikes, their bellies were just full of leeches and clams and bugs and stuff like that. Cause they've killed off all the trout and they'll cannibalize each other and then they'll die off. But that's how it's been in all these lakes. They got infested with pike. First the pike population explodes and you get huge pike. Then you get a lot of pike. And then the pike run out of food and then it just collapses and then it's just kind of a crappy lake with a little bit of pike in it. That's why it's such a problem up here. And uh, you, got, you guys have a good time? Oh yeah, great good. time. Got lots of fish. Got lots of fish. And everything's wet. I mean, <laughs> everything. Well listen, I'll see you guys around, but uh, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to show you how to cook up those pike. Tell me, how many fish did you catch? I think about four. Four? Ah, it's great, buddy. You caught more than I did. Chris, the guy who was with Tommy in the kayak, caught about two dozen fish. Everybody else caught at least two or three. I think I did the worst of anybody. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back at the house, and I've got a bunch of these northern pike fillets to take care of, and I'm going to do something kind of fun. I'm going to make some smoked fish. All right, just got some plain old soy sauce. little pan of hickory chips just sitting right there on the heating element and that'll start smoking here in just a little bit. All right, we'll just let that fish smoke for somewhere between 18 to 20 hours, depending on how cold it is tonight. Delicious. Oh, here, watch out, watch out. Can I taste this one? Are they hot? No, they're not hot, but they're... Hold on, hold on. Hey. Let me get everything out for... There we go, some beautiful smoked pike. You know, northern pike's kind of infamous for having a bit of bones, but once it's cooked like this, the bones just peel out that easy. So does the skin. Yep. I love smoked fish. Okay. I want to taste... Oh, this one. Which I yeah. adore. This is exactly like smoked salmon. There we go. That's smoked northern pike. Like that, Tom? Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe and activate that notification button so you can be notified when we put out new videos. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Click subscribe!